Hey, what's up, reviewers? It's me, your boy Tavo, and today we are back with episode three of Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro. And man, oh man, <laughs> was last episode a fucking doozy, bro. Like, she, <laughs> they really, like, just took took all the teasing and all the bullying and everything that she did to him in episode one and just ramped it up to 100, right? Like, <laughs> And I said it at the end of last video, right? But I'm going to say it again right here because mo a lot of, you know, if if you look at the analytics on my channel, most people click off around this part right here. But, uh, <clears throat> like, I definitely don't see her, like, sort of bullying or teasing or anything as, like, a genuine dislike to our main character, right? It's, ob it's, it's obvious in the show, right? But it's, it's a, you know... It's an observation you kind of have to make, right? And especially with Nagatoro's character, right? Because, like, at the scene in the diner, right? The two dudes who were, like, kind of trying to flirt with her or whatever, trying to talk to her, trying to get her attention, she completely shut down because she was uninterested in them because they were being, you know... They were being fake. They are being weird. They are being creepy. Like, the dude who just barely met her and he's just like, you know, I've never touched boobs before. Like, that's, like, that's a normal thing to say as soon as you meet someone. That someone's trying to set you up to meet, like, <laughs> like, fam, <laughs> just pump the fucking brakes, like, baby steps, bro, like, goddamn, <laughs> it's not even like an icebreaker or nothing, you just straight up, like, I went to an all-boys school, I've never touched boobs, like, <laughs> but, uh, you know, and then, obviously, at the end of that scene, we have the ending of the episode where she's, you know, teasing, uh, teasing our boy again, which, again, we didn't get his name, so... I wonder when we're actually going to get his name, <clears throat> if we're ever going to get his name right. But I definitely want to see how she ends up developing him as a character, right? Because I definitely see the friendship between them starting to blossom a lot more. And, you know, that's what I feel like all her bullying and teasing is, is definitely a much more friendly. Obviously, right, it's horribly exaggerated to what it would probably be like in real life, right? But just, it's definitely a lot... There's potentially, like, some good intentions behind it, right? I'm not going to say there is or there isn't, but there's potentially a lot of, like, good behind it, right? And it's eventually going to help him break out of his shell, you know. And you need friends like that, right? You need friends who are going to push you out of your comfort zone, push you to, you know, open up a little more, right? That's how I've made all my friends is that I've just have... I've just had a lot of fucking extroverts adopt me into them, <laughs> adopt me into the group, right, where they're just sitting there like, I like you, you don't talk to anyone, come here, you're mine now, like, that's how I've made most of my fucking friends, so, I definitely, I feel it, <laughs> but, I, this intro's gone on a little bit long, uh, so, let's just hop right into it, if you made it this far in the video and you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Also, the link to the channel Instagram is in the description below, all right? We're in the road back to 400, so let's go. Again, our boy is such a good fucking artist, man. I know, obviously, right? It's all the artists drawing. It's a Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dude, where the hell did you come from? <laughs> <clears throat> Get pushed out of your comfort zone. Also, where the hell is the teacher? <laughs> Pause. <laughs> She's probably wearing short shorts or Spanx. Or her swimsuit. Yep, her swimsuit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some people see like one piece swimsuits is a little bit more, uh, yeah. The OP is a fucking vibe, bro. <laughs> Damn, that sucks. Let me guess, all of them were there. Oh, no, she spotted him. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> well, I mean, don't they walk the same route home? Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, he probably already is. 
And I don't think that's waterproof either. <laughs> I'm not trying to sound tough. I'm just really fucking slow. <laughs> Look at me, do you think I'm in shape? Go. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love that sound. Oh. I love sitting in my car whenever it's raining, just listening to the rain hit the roof of the car. It's beautiful. A passing shower. Me and my mom always called it a blanket of rain. Oh boy. Shenanigans. <laughs> At some point, you gotta be like, can't we ever just have, like, a normal fucking conversation? <laughs> like... <laughs> Cat. Liar. <laughs> He's gonna what? <laughs> yes, of course she does. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no. You really did it to yourself now, my guy. <laughs> and I like how even through her embarrassment, she just... Alright, this is how I can fuck with him. <laughs> like... A genuine offer. She feels bad. Go ahead. There we go. There we go. Look at our boy. Look at our boy. <laughs> what a terrifying thought. <laughs> Shit, just, just. <laughs> Even the fucking cat pisses on him. <laughs> Bro, she had enough time to get changed, and you were literally just standing there, just. spacing out. Trying to be nice right now. <clears throat> she 
He's being genuinely nice right now. No need to be so guarded. Bruh. <laughs> Is it damp? Bruh. <laughs> hey. You got caught in 4K, my guy. <laughs> Got caught in 4K. She has every right to tease you about that. <laughs> You're acting twice as sauce as usual. <laughs> Probably is. <laughs> That's a secret. <laughs> He's next. You got Scrabble? <laughs> Pause? tease you about that one. <laughs> Just here. God, what's the name of that fighting game? Is this supposed to be like a like a different version of Guilty Gear? Is that the name of the game? God, what's the name of the game? I think it might be Guilty Gear. <laughs> Show no mercy. Show no mercy. <laughs> Obliterator. This is where you get your revenge. <laughs> that you're getting hustled. <laughs> That's a battle of wits. <laughs> a battle strategy. Okay. So she wrapped herself up. <laughs> At first I was like, what the fuck is she even on about? And then I noticed it was wrapped around her leg. <laughs> be correct but <laughs> they're exactly right. <sighs> Man, I had to go to fucking dermatologist again. Uh, 
<sighs> my health overall has just been. <laughs> There's a few doctor's appointments I need to make, but goddamn, shit, shit sucks. <laughs> it's expensive, especially here in the U.S. I'd rather not. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's the worst spot ever. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Don't. <clears throat> oh no. <laughs> Her face. <laughs> Poor dude. <laughs> you could have toughed it out if one found a different seat. She's jealous. <laughs> yep, she noticed. <laughs> She's like, wait a minute. trying to see how far she can like start bashing it before yeah there we go testing the waters <laughs> yes yes she is Absolutely is. Are you gonna stand up for yourself? Don't make a scene. Stop. Ah. <laughs> uh, but. But. <laughs> you made a scene. Everything's worse now. Ah. <laughs> uh, the pain. But <laughs> you said, but you had something else on your mind, and now she's mad, and you're gonna wonder why she's mad when it's fairly obvious. Yes, teach them, teach him how to stand up for himself. You can turn it into a slapstick. You can. Slapstick comedy. <laughs> Rose, shut up! <laughs> there we go. 
the fuck was that about? <laughs> Improv. Improv. Do you guys like going to improv shows? I absolutely love it. I feel like... I, f I feel like this... No, it's not all it takes. <laughs> I feel like he's gonna... <laughs> do not. Do not. Do... do, do, do abort mission. <laughs> You're telling this to someone who's socially inept. He's gonna do that to the wrong person. And he's gonna get bodied. <laughs> he's gonna do that to the wrong person and he's gonna get folded like an omelet. <laughs> I guess it's a start. <laughs> Starting them off in the deep end, I guess. <laughs> he crying? Or he's trying not to laugh. Cry in the car. She actually feels bad about this one. Oh, never mind. Push him. Push him to the edge. Push him to the edge. Make him snap. <laughs> oh, no, my voice cracked. <laughs> <coughs> failed successfully <laughs> do it on purpose <laughs> oh man this show's fun Oh man, this show is a lot of fun. This show is <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, this show is this show is fun. This show is fun and I, I really love like just the overall goofiness and just how exaggerated all the teasing and everything is, right? Like just <laughs> uh it's 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 really well done. Like there's so much about it that's in terms of like you know overall what makes a series good to me. Like, so much of it already, it's hitting the notes, like, like, hitting the nail, right, <laughs> hitting the nail right on the head, right, like, just, one, the animation is, like, super fucking crispy for no reason, like, <laughs> the, like, especially the way they're, like, uh, Nagatoro's eyes are drawn every now and then, right, like, when it goes into, like, detail on her face, like, there's a lot of, like, actual good animation, like, fantastic fucking animation in this show, which is hilarious to me. <laughs> and then, uh, obviously, right, like, the OP and the ED or vibes, like, in terms of, like, overall, like, the technical stuff of it, I have zero complaints. And then in terms of, like, the story and just the characters and everything, again, I have zero complaints, man, like... I'm thoroughly enjoying the show. I've thoroughly enjoyed these past three episodes of it, right? Like, overall, it's just fun. And 
you know, sometimes that's all the show has to be, right? It's just fun. Just a good watch. It's nice to just sit down and not really have to think about anything, right? It's nice to just sit down and be like, hey, I'm going to just watch some goofy shit, right? Obviously, if you look deeper into it, right, it, it all shows, I feel like, touch on something, right? They all touch on at least one thing that can be turned into a discussion topic, right? And, you know, I feel like a lot of people that criticize this show look at the bullying a little bit too too black and white, right? They look at it as her just being mean-spirited, right? Or at least up until this point, because I have a few friends who, <laughs> you know, are a bit more, yeah, and they... <laughs> They 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 don't like the bullying and everything in the show because they think it's mean spirited. But like, if you really look into it, right? I think there's like no ill intention in doing it, right? Like she. I really more see it as, one of two things, if not both, right? Her trying to help him break out of his shell, right? Like her trying to, help her friend open up a little bit more, stand up for himself, right? Help him just buckle down and be like, hey. You know, eventually get to the point where if it does start to bother him, right, and if it does start to, you know, you know, uh, what's it called, be too much, stand up for himself and be like, hey, you know, I didn't like that. Or be like, hey, leave me alone. And, you know, just eventually stand up for himself and be able to exit a situation, right, instead of just sit there and suffer in silence, right? Like, that, and then I also see it as, like, you know, her taking maybe even a romantic interest in him, right? And I guess not necessarily knowing how to express it, right? Because a lot of the times, you know, or at least from what I've noticed in this show and like other shows and, you know, uh, what's it called? Some people telling me like stories of how they met, right? Like a lot of times... You don't really know how to express it, right? Especially at that age in high school, right? A lot of, you know, a lot of people probably don't know how to express their emotions too well. And if she likes him and she's never really had the opportunity to tell someone that she likes them, right? Then she's just going to go back to the old days of when we were kids, right? And if you like someone, you kind of, you tease them, right? Because you didn't know what the fuck you were doing. You are just like, oh, you know, that's all, that's kind of why what I see it as. I'm sorry, I'm really tired right now, so all of my thoughts are very jumbled. And it's, like, super hot in here, and I'm, like, starting to get sick. So I was planning on recording more, but I'm going to get some sleep and record more tomorrow. So I love y'all. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Double out.